Hi. My name. Well, I was named Timothy Trespass, but I was also named Matthew. Matthew Richardson. Well, does the name really matter? It's just a delineating identifier. No, you know, something we've been given to. Whatever. Yes, it does have an effect, but nonetheless, I am a human being still. And that's more important. Um, what I wanted to say was that <sighs> basically, yea, that though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because, and I don't remember the rest, but I am terrified of this. I am besieged continually with anxiety and negative thoughts and uh, you know, scenario because I happen to be gifted at looking at the situations and seeing the natural progressions and, and unfortunately that doesn't always leave one with a lot of hope and since my life has been basically a series of manipulations and failures and you know making the wrong choices and thinking that I was in control of my life in some way uh, and realizing that all of this you know revisiting every event and episode and seeing the effect that it had on me and others and, and begging for forgiveness and, and trying to change my personality, my soul, my, my the way that I approach God and life and reality and, and, and you know horrible scenarios, I try to, A, uh, just be grateful and thank God for the most basic things like being able to breathe and walk and talk and you know, wipe my own butt and feed myself and you know, chew with the last couple of teeth I have and, and think and operate this phone and have this, you know, and see feel and, and, you know, and then I try to even be grateful for the pain and the suffering and the tears and the agony and the heartbreak because it's the only way I can justify it and accept it as a gift from God. You know, whether this is, is, is how it works or, or not. See, my belief is that God, our Creator, made all of this and sustains it all. Every thing, every molecule, every atom, every, every one of us, every cell, every bit of energy. Now, perhaps I'm wrong, perhaps it made it me just sitting there watching it all, but I don't think so. I think that... I, I don't know, it's complicated, but... Uh, you know, so I have to somehow... You know, you have to come to terms with these things, whether they're natural, unnatural, evil, you know, good, whatever, you have to somehow come to terms with them and, and the thing that I've been lacking most of my life probably because I never truly asked for it or worked for it and also because I don't think that God can just zoop give you all this stuff at once because it would blow your mind it'll you know supposedly it's, it's 
Well, God reveals what he wants, when he wants, to who he wants, and blesses and curses who he wants, when he wants, and we have nothing to say about it other than prayer. And, you know, if you can't, if you can't get salvation from your works, if there's nothing that you can do to, you know, I mean, Christ did it for us, supposedly he, he did it for us, and that's just mind-boggling to me. I can't even possibly comprehend the, the full meaning of that, but I'm beginning to see, you know, a little bit, and, and, the, the, okay, um, so there's this story in the Bible where these two guys are, or three guys or whatever are taken by, I don't know the whole story, but by this king and put into this horrible bowl, uh, a brass bowl or whatever, and a fire is lit under it and, it, you know, and supposedly they had such faith that, you know, the guy saw them standing in there walking in the flames and, and there was someone else there with them, and then I don't remember the rest of the story, but for me, what that little bit says is that somehow, if you can have the faith, and, and that's hard because, you know, the doubt is continually seeded and, and programmed over a course of your life, and can't just, I don't know, can you just pop back to, you know, I mean, all these people and all this stuff that I read and watch and you know, preaching this and then, and they all sort of tell you, oh, it's going to be okay, don't worry about a thing, you're great, you're good, you know, Christ paid the price for you and that's it, and you, you know, do, do what you, but no, there's more to it they're not telling us because I don't think you know I, I'm really starting to see this and, and uh, it's so confusing you know the dualistic thing you know there's more than just dualistic there's everything in between but anyway what I've been trying to say this whole thing is that that is what I want for myself for everybody else. Yeah, that's another conflict, the me, them thing. But, you know, I, I, I try. Anyway, that's what I want. I want that faith that, that, you know, and I know that you still suffer, you still go through all the things that you go through, the pain and the agony and the joys and the and whatnot, but to know that God has you in his hands and will do with you what he may and you know that somehow you could be come worthy of this love and and the many blessings we have and, and I've been trained to complain I've been trained to, to whine and, and moan it hurts. Got to get it out somehow. But uh, you know, there's a danger in doing that because you program yourself to continually see things from the other side, and and I believe it's important to see things from from both sides, from all sides. Anyway, that's what I'm praying for. Is among all the other things is that somehow I can learn or be granted or earn that knowing that God is there for me and all I have to do is be the best that I can possibly be and that's really hard sometimes. Thank you for watching and your comments, whether, you know, all of them, your prayers. I just wish, I 
wish I could make it better. God bless us all.